Bishu Chuchang. Sutra Bishu Chuchang, a native of Kwesu in Sintro, left home when he was a child and resolutely sought to see his own nature. One day he called on the master who asked him, Where are you from and what do you want? Chin Chang replied, Your student has recently been to Pai Feng Mountain in Hong Chou. To call on the high master Tatung and receive his instruction on the principle of seeing one's nature and realizing Buddhahood. As I have not yet resolved my doubts, I have come from a great distance to bow reverently and request the master's compassionate instruction. The master said, What instruction did he give you? Try to repeat it to me. Chu Chang said, after arriving there, three months passed and still I had received no instruction. Being eager for the drama, one evening I went alone into the abbot's room and asked him, What is my original mind and original substance? Tatung then said to me, Do you see empty space? Yes, I said, I see it. Tatung said, Do you know what appearance it has? I replied, Empty space? has no form, how could it have an appearance? Tatum said, your original mind is just like empty space. To understand that nothing can be seen is called right seeing. To know that nothing can be known is called true knowing. There is nothing blue or yellow, long or short, simply seeing the clear, pure, original source, the perfect, bright, enlightened substance. This is what is called seeing one's nature and realizing Buddhahood. It is also called the knowledge and vision of the Tathagata. Also, I heard his instruction, I still do not understand and beg you, O oh Master, to instruct me. The Master said, Your former Master's explanation still retains the concepts of knowing and seeing, and that is why you have not understood now I will teach you with a verse. Not to see a single drama still retains no seeing. Greatly resembling floating clouds covering the sun, not to know a single drama holds to empty knowing. Even as a lightning flash comes out of empty space, this knowing and seeing arise in an instant. When seen wrongly, can experience be understood? If in the space of a thought you can know your own error, your own spiritual light will always be manifest. Commentary Bhikshu Chu Chang left home at the early age of seven or eight. When he called on the sixth patriarch, the master remembered his first meeting with the fifth patriarch, who had asked him, Where are you from and what do you seek? I'm from Sintro. The master had said, and I seek nothing but Buddhahood. Sintro, people are barbarians, the fifth patriarch had said. How can you become a Buddha? The barbarian's body and the high master's body are not the same, countered the sixth patriarch. But in the Buddha nature, where is the distinction? Remembering this, the sixth patriarch asked Chu Chang, where are you from? Just what do you think you are doing? Chu Chang had received instruction on seeing the nature and realizing Buddhahood, but he still had doubts. The Chinese word for doubts is literally false doubts, because foxes are wary of everything. When a fox walks across the ice, he takes a step, coughs his head, and listens. If the ice crackles, he runs back to shore. If it does not, he keeps on walking and listening, walking and listening. Although foxes are extremely intelligent, they are full of doubts. In his verse, the sixth patriarch explains, If you do not see a single drama and the 10,000 dramas all are empty, you still have the view of not seeing and dramas. You still hold that view. This is just like floating clouds covering the sun, because if you truly do not see anything, you are free of the idea of not seeing. In the same way, if you don't establish a single drama and don't know a single drama, 
but still have the knowledge that you neither establish nor no dramas. You still hold on to an empty, false kind of knowing. Your principles seem coherent, but knowing and seeing still remain. This is like the great void. Originally, there is nothing there, but suddenly there is a flash of lightning. Now, do you see or not? This knowing and seeing arise in an instant. Your seeing nothing and your empty knowing, your view of nothing and your knowledge of knowing nothing are there before your eyes. You should understand right at this instant that you are wrong in holding to the idea of seeing nothing and knowing emptiness. Then your original wisdom, your original intelligence, your inherent Buddha nature, which is the Tathagata's treasury, will always be manifest. Sutra, hearing the verse, Chi Chang understood it with his heart and mind, and he composed this verse, without beginning, knowing, and seeing arise. When one is attached to Mark's body is sought out, clinging to a thought of enlightenment, do I rise above my former confusion, the inherently enlightened substance of my nature, illuminates the turning, twisting flow, but had I not entered the patriarch's room, I'd still be running, lost between the two extremes. Commentary When Chu Chang heard this verse, he put it all down. Having put it all down, he didn't say, I put it all down. If you put it down, put it down. Don't keep saying, I put it down. If you keep on saying that you put it down, you haven't really done it. If you truly have no knowledge of you and have returned to the root and come back to the source, why do you keep a knowing and a viewing? Chu Chang understood and spoke a wonderful verse without beginning. Knowing and seeing arise, without a head, without a tail, the idea of seeing nothing and the knowledge of emptiness arise from no beginning, without a causal basis or foundation. Though one is attached to Marx, body is sought out. You should not be attached to Marx, but now you have become attached to seeing nothing and knowing emptiness. Previously, when I explained no thought, I said that if you think I have no thought, just that is a thought, isn't it? If you really are without thought, you are also without no thought. The concept of no thought is just another thought. In Chan Dhyana meditation, when we reflect on the question, who is reciting the Buddha's name, we search for the who but don't find it because basically there is no who, but people can't understand and keep looking for a self saying who. In your search, do not be attached to marks. Do not be attached to the mark of self when you seek body. When you think, I'm seeing emptiness and there is nothing at all, you still have the thought of knowing. You still have the thought of seeing and you don't overcome your confusion. This is certainly not enlightenment. The inherently Enlightened substance of my nature illuminates the turning, twisting flow. The basic substance of the self-nature, which is enlightened from the beginning, is in accord with the shift and flow of external conditions, and yet it does not change. Understanding this, Chi Chang finds the middle way between the two extremes of seeing nothing and knowing emptiness. Sutra one day, Chu Chang asked the master, The Buddha taught the drama of the three vehicles and also the supreme vehicle. Your disciple has not yet understood that and would like to be instructed. The master said, Complete, Contemplate only your own original mind and do not be attached to the marks of external dramas. The drama doesn't have four vehicles. It is people's minds that differ. Seeing, hearing, and reciting is the small vehicle.